All right, welcome to the call on the professor. This is our weekly study session. This week, we're going to talk about market structure. Last week, we spoke about um, support and resistance, and it'll lead up to one of the strategies that um, I personally often use, which is the master candle strategy. Um, all right, so market structure, pretty much um, you want to identify if your pair is going up and down and when to enter. So um, whether it's bullish or bearish. So if the trend is bullish, right, um, which we can see, for example, right here, right? Trend is bullish, price is going up, right? The trend is bearish. So we get an example right here. Price is going down. Okay. Um, and so I like this one right here, actually. Let me use. Boom. All right. Price is going up. Okay. So this is bullish, right? And price is bearish right here for this example. Now, market structure. You can just trade off a of market structure itself, okay? And so what happens is, for example, on this bearish channel, I mean this bullish channel, because price is going up right here, if you're just trading market structure, you want to enter on the low, right? It's just think about price is here, right? Look to the left, price is 1620, right? Price goes up. 1661 you don't want to enter right here right you don't want to buy th that gold at 1661 when you know price is going to retrace a bit and form a higher low then you can enter right here at 1641 right so that's your best entry here at 1641 because then price goes up here right and forms another higher high and it makes it a higher high because it's previous than the former high which is right here then price drops down and forms a new higher low. It's higher than the previous low, which was right here, right? So then price flies and you get a new higher high, higher low, okay? And so here's the thing. If you miss your entries, fine. Then the next day you'll get another entry. Just wait for price to retrace a little bit and then boom, enter. And it forms a new high. Okay. So here's a good, ooh, a good bullish example right there. Remember your entries are on the low. And put the money sign. Actually, you know what? Instead of the money sign, I'll actually write it higher low. And so when I first started trading, I didn't get too technical. I just traded off of market structure. Found the support resistance, found the trend. I said, all right, cool. I'll just trade off market structure. Yeah, here's your best entry. Right, because it's at support. But if you miss it, fine. Found your trend. Let price go up. Take profit. You miss it. If you miss the entry, fine. And get to take profit. Price retreats, retraces. Boom doesn't quite hit the trend line. It gaps, right? This is a gap. So that's your entry. Enter on the higher low. Okay, price comes up right here. Forms a higher high. Right? You want to take your profits on higher highs 
or you want to take partial profits. <clears throat> you don't want to enter on higher highs when you are trading market structure on a bullish trend. That is a no-no, right? You don't want to buy that bins when it's 40000 when you can get it on sale for 30000 right? Only makes sense. Same thing with trading. So, I call the long thing. Okay. All right. So it forms a new higher low. Remember, these are your entries right now. Enter, write it up, take profit. Start to take profit when you see price exhausting. What shows exhaustion? Wicks, right? All right, cool. Price goes up. Boom. Comes that new higher high. I should also write take profits. Always take profits. Because anything can happen in the markets. It can retrace and then... All your hard work is gone. So, you'd rather have $50 than no dollars, right? So, take profits, whether it's partial profits, it's taking profits when you're trading market structure. All right, and this is for a bullish trend. And get one more entry right about here before the trend changes. Boom, right? Like another gap. Price comes up. Comes another higher high. It's higher than the previous high. Take profits. And why do you take profits? Because look, price all of a sudden changes up in here. And so if you think it's going to go to the moon and you forget to take profits up here, you're going to find yourself breaking even here, upset, oh, thinking it's going to buy again, fake out and it drops, lose your account, right? So that's why it's just important to just take profits. So that's a bullish trend. All right. So now right here to the right. Right, we identify this is a bearish trend, right? Price is going down, it's selling. It's always good to have your trend line. We'll go over trend lines next week. Okay. And so here's your trend line. Remember your trend line is your diagonal support and resistant line. So also too, when price gets near that trend line, um, you're looking to enter. Right, same thing on the bullish channel. Price gets near the trend line, entry, entry, entry. Okay, so here, price as price goes down here. Okay, we had a higher high, all of a sudden, price comes down right here. Hold on, let me stand. see that wick right there. All right, so as we come down. Right here, we see that price did not form a new higher high. So that's when we start thinking like, hmm, sell, right? So we come down and we actually form a lower high, right? Um, right here, right? We form a lower high. So I'm going to create that right here, so... Uh, page. All right. Price rejects here. Boom. Form that lower high, right? Actually, I just move that. Come here. Form a lower high. Then price comes down and forms this. Lower low, right? And I 
बात है तो so we form this lower low right here we see this width okay um from the lower low we come back up we form a new lower high we look price is lower than the previous high so market structure is changing, forming this bearish trend. Oh, I'm just creating a whole bunch of lower highs up here. They're all up here. <laughs> all right. Okay. Price is creating a bearish trend. So when price is selling, we want to sell when price is high, right? Um, and take our profits when it's low. So same thing, thinking of a car, right? You want to um, or just gold in itself. This is gold, right? You want to sell that ounce of gold at seventeen twenty nine before it gets to seventeen oh seven. Right there, you'll get two hundred and twenty pips. So price comes up, forms a lower uh, lower high, comes down, right? Lower low, boom. Price rejects off that trend line, a new lower high, lower low, lower high. Price drops here, boom, lower low, lower high. Price comes, and this is when you know, somewhat consolidating. And you see price consolidating in here, pretty much lower low. Lower high, lower low, lower high, right? It comes all the way down. So, here, I'm going to take where to trace. That's where it is, Chloe. You know what I'm going to do? Oh. All right. <laughs> So we have one more right here. This is a perfect example right here. This is another reason why I trade go to because it does give perfect market structure. And um, we'll talk about compound interest too. One of these Thursdays for study group. All right. Then we get down here. So, just like on the left side, when you have that bullish channel and prices going up, you're taking profits when the price is at a high, right? So, same thing here, you're taking profits. And you know what I'm going to do? So it's not so messy. I'm going to write just TP. All right, TP, taking profits. So you're taking profits on the low. All right, price hits that lower low. Take those profits because you never know. News can come. Price can go crazy. And then you miss your opportunity, right, for all your hard work or put your stop loss and profit always. Stop loss, break even. If you were, you know, trading long, then you would just move your SL to the next TP. You know, like if price gets to TP1, then 
you move your SL to break even. Price gets to TP2, you move your SL to TP1. So at least if something happens, you break, you know, you get in profit, you can always get back in a trade, right? So that's market structure. Um, we'll take a look at these lines there. Boom, get rid of that. And you can kind of see. Well, actually, I'll leave it. And then same here. Your lower highs are your entries when price is bearish. Right, enter on the high, take profit on the low. That's just basic buying and selling. Okay. Um, does anyone have any questions? All right. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to take a picture of this screenshot right here. I'll post it in, you know, let me have it here. Post it in the chat. A couple of things I'll write on here market structure. Okay. Price is bullish. Coming higher highs, higher lows. Right, just some rules, remember, right? Enter on the ATL. And I'm, I'm using the four hour time frame, right? Um, this you can um, use a four hour time frame if you want to get a good entry. You can always drop down to the five minute, but always refer back to that four hour. Um, enter on the higher low, right? Okay, these are rules. Take profit on the higher high, right? That's for bullish. Now, when price is bearish, forming lower highs and lower lows, you want to enter on the lower high. And you want to take profit on the lower low. All right. So these are market structure rules. Um, and so just follow these rules and we'll be good, you know. Um, Another thing that will help you on a higher low is find support, right? Okay. Take profit. Resistance. It all refers back. These few, you got to keep it simple here, right? You enter on the um, lower high, you want to find resistance, okay? So two, the cheat code is price will get be near the trend line. Right? You want to take profit on the lower low. Okay. Find support. All right. Um that's about it. No one has any questions. We will hop off of here. Hope you're enjoying our current trades and profit right now. Um, let's go gold. Let's go EU. Um, GJ hit TP1 and it's doing a retrace, so we'll chill out. Um,